DMARDs may take weeks to months to fully work in rheumatoid arthritis. Because of this, other medications are often used with the DMARDs to more quickly provide relief from pain, swelling, and stiffness. The non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, are one such group. Many of these drugs are available, generically, helping to lower their costs. NSAIDs work by blocking the cyclooxygenase enzyme and reducing the production of prostaglandins, which in turn results in decreased inflammation and pain. They block the formation of one of the chemical messengers that causes inflammation. Of course, they have their side effects as well, and a lot of that is related to the patient. If the patient already has kidney issues or high blood pressure, then that's something to consider. But in most patients, as long as the doctor's aware of these things, takes precautions, follows blood tests, usually you can decrease the chances of problems. I do prescribe steroids to patients routinely, and it can be very helpful in rapidly getting somebody back to work or back to feeling reasonable while you're waiting for the other medicines to take effect. Generally speaking, in rheumatoid arthritis, the treatment, we want to use the least toxic therapy in the lowest dose possible for the least amount of time possible, generally. Mm -hmm. Long-term use of corticosteroids may be associated with osteoporosis, cataracts, Cushingoid symptoms, and alterations in blood glucose levels. Doses may need to be withdrawn slowly to help avoid these side effects. When a small number of joints are affected, corticosteroids such as triamcinolone may be given directly into the joint space and tissue. This route is associated with fewer adverse effects, but there are limitations on the number of injections that can be given per year. When using corticosteroids long-term, calcium and vitamin D supplements or osteoporosis treatments such as Fosamax may be needed to help prevent or treat bone loss. A dramatic health production.